all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as to the heart uh kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment and share also remember to on your notification button so that whenever we drop news you go be the first whole collector me don't share uh, for abuja live and direct protesters don't beat talk uh will be say uh Oganani will be president Bola Ahmed Tinubu send uh the people will be saying at them be the anti protesters uh we say protest no go on no <laughs> but I see the be uh the protesters don't verse and uh, they say this time now the only time where they have to vent their angers uh, a lot of people are complaining of hunger scarcity scarcity of fuel and the hike in the prices of fuel and the president and his people are sending anti-protesters. <laughs> the same man that said, uh, he said, let the poor breathe, uh, don't suffocate them. He is the one that is even, is even strangulating the poor now. Meanwhile, watch this video. Watch this video and see as it happened for Abuja life. And let me be saying, I need to stop and eat my mouth. So when I come around 7 o'clock, I found that different cars, quest by drinking, they carry their jersey, they were drinking everywhere, smoking. So they now asked us to join them. We said, no, we have not seen their face before. They are waiting for our team. We know the people, we have seen our face. They are not waiting for people we always protest together to come. Before I know, they start beating me, they were beating me and hit me. Look at my face. They hit me and hand over me to police. Hmm. Police keep me inside police van. Wow. Now, now, when these boys, they come out, they not protest towards them. They are still the riot. They start throwing their gas. Yes. Before they free me to go, they tell me to go and never come back come again. Back. Mr. President has not addressed us. Let him tell us that first 200 and see whether this protest will continue. We will not stop this protest. We will not stop it. We are angry. A hungry man is an angry man. Yeah. These are protesters who are protesting for their rights. Uh, there is hunger everywhere, and the citizens are angry. 
uh, as you can see how the other man you can you can see the anger you go see the anger waiting for that man face <laughs> the first man will talk you go see the anger you gonna say the thing where we say the go this government don't do don't pain that man enter in bone uh, the other one you see say waiting the complain say they come out early in the morning to come and protest and uh, the anti-protesters come out arrested them collected their phone that once they ask you if you are protesting, you say yes, uh, the next thing you will receive is beating. And you can imagine how callous and how bad uh, the government is becoming and the mercenaries that are running the government. I will, I will drop a video for you now so that you can see you know, what Tinubu was saying during the time of Jonathan, how he made the people to feel, how his speech... You know, um, social media does not forget. You can forget most of the things you have done, but social media does not forget things. Social media keeps some of these things there for you. I'm going to play the video for you. The man that said, let the poor breathe, don't suffocate them, is now the one that is not only suffocating the poor, but he is strangulating the poor. And um, during the time of, of uh, Jonathan, Tinubu was pressing for for free speech, ask the citizens to go and protest for their rights if they are hungry and they cannot bear it anymore and now it is his turn. Watch this video and confirm it by yourself. To improve this situation for the good of all of us, do not allow the opportunity to make things better for us. They make it better for themselves. For their comfort and their families. Cronism is prevailing. Today, our rulers in Abuja and across some of their state, you know what they say to us when they remove subsidy and we say no. Hunger is increasing, they say so what? Unemployment is a cause, they say yes, we know. Why are the people hungry? Is that let them face death? That is what is in Abuja of today. Drive on your terms. Choose your passengers and fares within drive. in Abuja of today. The current way of darkness, vacation, building impossible. What a down is a big poverty and the erosion of just society inevitable. We have gathered at this hour in this place to put an end to the national corruption and corruption. We have assembled here today to bring a new day and a new Nigeria to our people. Today, the Nigerian people are different and hardworking people. They are equally long suffering. They tolerate for too long. Just because they are long suffering does not mean they should be forced to suffer until death comes. We are people. We've had a number of excuses. Our people have had a number of having nothing. The current government's trademark is to throw empty words as our problem. As if doing nothing will cause our troubles to leave for sheer boredom. Unemployment increases. Industrialization, we have not. The primary nothing is working. Electricity, they lie. If this is the government of, if this is the government idea of transformation, and we have none of it, we should not have any of it. Because before we 
say the government of slow motion. Now, it is the government of no motion at all. If they want to stand still at the bus stop or train station and be stagnated without poverty, they have the right to do so. And we have a right to pick them out. Not to know that they are stealing from our children tomorrow. For lack of respect in education. They are still embezzling the retirement benefit of unworthy Nigeria, including our grandfathers. They are stealing the pot, the treasury, not even leaving some coins for us to war with. Let them be out. Out now. All right, welcome back. I know you have watched, uh, listened to the voice of the present president of Nigeria, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who was encouraging the citizens of Nigeria uh, during the period and time of President um, Jonathan. He asked the citizens that if the government are not doing well, uh, let the citizens kick the government out, kick them out, kick them out, kick them out. He's making the citizens to know that they have the power to kick the government house if they are hungry, if the government is not meeting their demands, if the government is not meeting up to the necessary social amenities that is supposed to be provided for the citizens, he asks the citizens to kick the government out. And now the table has turned. It is now the time of President Tinubu uh, to show himself a worthy citizen and a man who is supposed to lead the people he said, let the poor breathe, do not suffocate them. But I think, as it is now, the poor are strangulated. There is also current pro protest that is going on in Abuja uh, as a result of the increase of dollar. I mean, increase of dollar to the Naira. Uh, the Naira is depreciating against the dollar, while the dollar is gaining weight against the Naira. And this is what is currently happening. Dollar today is about uh, 1,580 something naira, and the citizens are protesting. The prices of things are going high. Uh, if you want to buy moto now, car that uh, maybe let's say last two years or last year uh, that could be bought for one million is now up to four million. Meanwhile, this is where I go to wind down the curtain. If you are first time where you join us, don't miss. Kindly go ahead and subscribe.